Okay, now we're going to have a little fun with this mixture problem because we're going to give you a very interesting scenario. Let's say you work for a cake baking company, but a couple of weeks ago you ended up in a car wreck and it gave you, it gave you temporary amnesia. Well, you recover from the car wreck, you get some of your memory back, but you don't get everything back. At least now you know who you are, but you don't get everything back all at once. All right, so you go back to work. The, the, the doctor gives you an excuse. He says, okay, you can go back to work. I mean, he's not that dangerous. And you go back to work, and you're trying to get all your memory back. And, and uh, your boss gives you... Um, frozen egg powder. Now, that what I mean by that is that uh, some companies can actually freeze dry eggs. Now, I know that's kind of a weird way to do things, but they turn the eggs into kind of a... Uh, they, they freeze it in such a way it turns into a fine powder. And by doing so, you can uh, mix it up with a, with a cake mix, and you don't have to be cracking eggs all day. Okay? Um, it's not as tasty and it's not as good, but oh well. Anyway, he gives you five pounds of this um, egg powder, okay? And um, he says this stuff is worth a dollar a pound, okay? And then he gives you a big old sack of pre-mixed cake, cake mix. Uh, the only thing that the, this cake mix is lacking is the egg stuff, okay? So he gives you a, a big old bag of cake mix, and he says that the contents of that bag is worth $3.50 a pound. But he doesn't tell you how much is in the bag. He doesn't realize you still got amnesia and you have no idea how much is in that bag, okay? So he wants you to combine the five pounds of egg frozen egg powder which of course it's not cold anymore because it's it's been freeze dried so it's kind of a dry powder it's an egg type powder and he wants you to add five pounds of this to this cake mix in order to make the cake mix and finally make the final cake all right now you have, you want to figure out how much uh, how, how much is in this bag of cake mix? All right, now I know that's the stupidest scenario you've ever heard in your life, but let's just follow along here just, just for the gist of things. All right, now, you already know you have a five-pound bag of frozen egg powder, and it costs a dollar a pound. So you take the one times the five, and you get five like this. All right? Now, you have a bag of cake mix, and you know that each pound of that cake mix is $3.50 a pound. Now, you know you could probably take that cake mix and put it on a scale and find out how many pounds are in that bag of cake mix. But we're not going to do it the easy way. Heck no, why would we do that? This is a math problem for Pete's sake. So, $3.50 a pound is what's what the bag of cake mix costs, but we don't know how many pounds is in that bag of cake mix. So we take the 3.50 times X, like this. Alright, so we know that the end result, the cake mix that we're going to have after we're fin finished mixing, is going to be worth about $3 a pound. Okay, It's going to cost you $3 a pound. And we know that there's going to be at least five pounds of mixture in this cake mix because we're going to add five pounds of frozen egg powder. Okay, we know we're going to do that. But we don't know how much is in the bag of cake mix. So, we have three times X plus five. Remember, we have five pounds of frozen egg powder we're adding to an unknown amount of cake mix. And that's how we get this. So, 3.50x plus 5 gives us 3x plus 15. Now, that 3x plus 15 comes from 3 times x equals 3x and 3 times 5 equals 15. We're going to subtract 5 from both sides of this equation. So, now we got 3.50x 
equaling 3x plus 10. We're then going to divide both sides of this equation by 3. Or actually, we're, sorry, not divide. Sorry, not divide. We're going to subtract 3x from both sides of this equation, which is going to give us 0.50x equaling 10. Now we're going to divide the, both sides of the equation by 0 0.50, and we get x equaling 20. So now we know that there is 20 pounds of cake mix that we're going to mix with 5 pounds of freeze-dried egg powder to make uh, 25 pounds of the new cake mix, which we're going to finally uh, add a little water to and make cakes out of. Now, I know that was the most stupid and ridiculous math problem you've ever done in your entire life, but if you follow the general plan, you get an idea how to do some of these mixture word problems. I deliberately made it stupid so that you'd remember it. Okay, that, that's a great memory technique. The more stupid it is, the better you'll remember it. Watch a comedy show sometime and you'll see just what I'm talking about. Alright, I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.